Carleen, we're on Stormwatch tonight. Yeah. I don't know. That's all I got for you. Oh, okay. Well, then I'll, I can take it over from here. <laughs> take it over. What do you, I, I, in all seriousness, I know we're keeping an eye on that because it's going to bring some gray skies, maybe even a drop in temp. So what are we looking at? Um, a little bit more than that, too. Okay, there we go. It's, it's, a, whole, it's a whole mixed bag. I think that's what we said at 4 o'clock. So <laughs> it's a whole lot going on in the weather department over the next couple of days. we got the cloud cover that has rolled in, 64 degrees right now for downtown. You're also talking about some light winds out of the west-southwest at about 10 miles per hour. Tonight, overnight lows mainly in the 50s as well as 60 degrees for downtown. You're seeing some 40s popping up. 46 degrees for Ramona, the same for Alpine. you got 40s across the mountains as well. Now, when it comes to highs, for tomorrow, not much of a warm up. We are talking about widespread 60s, and that's because we will have the cloud cover as well as a chance for some showers. We can see uh, moments of sunshine throughout tomorrow afternoon, but for the most part, it's really going to be strong with the clouds pushing in. You're also talking about daytime highs into the 40s as well as the 50s across the mountains. So let's eye this area of low pressure. Right now, it's over the Pacific Northwest, and you're noticing that frontal passage getting closer towards us, just towards the south of San Francisco. So that's the moisture ahead of it. It's going to sweep through and so that's why the overnight hours is when we're looking at a chance for some shower activity that will be the case by tomorrow morning so once we get past about midnight four in the morning starting to have that still some slick roads as we go into the morning drive for tomorrow by the afternoon hours things are a little bit quiet and then we have yet another influx of moisture before we start to dry out by Friday and that is when we start to have high pressure building in right behind that storm system so our in-house model is suggesting a tenth of an inch of rainfall for downtown the same for Alpine a little bit more than that for for Del Mar, a little bit more than a quarter of an inch and potentially up to an inch and a half for Mount Laguna. And that could also factor in some snow because the snow level is coming down to about 4,000 feet. So about one to two inches of snow is expected when all is said and done. So we'll have this area of high pressure building for the weekend, but then yet another area of low pressure dip in the jet stream, bringing in another chance for some widespread showers. That looks to be Monday of next week. So we're not done yet. Our eight day microclimate forecast has drier conditions by this weekend. We also have to fall back. Keep that in mind before you go to bed on Saturday into Sunday morning as daylight saving time ends. That chance for showers looks to be along the mountains and towards the coast. That will be the case by Monday. Just wind conditions picking up for the desert. Not a whole lot of rain expected. Maybe five hundredths of an inch. John.